guys so this is the first video of another mini series that i'm starting here we're building something very interesting we are building an imdb scraper using Kali, which is a crawl library for golang and we'll be writing our code in golang as well now this is uh, running parallel to the two other um, series that i have going on one where uh, we build a scraper with go query and another we build a scraper using no libraries in golang so out of these three Kali is the most widely used uh, in the industry uh, if somebody is uh, you know going to scrape with golang they're most probably going to use Kali. they won't like uh, use no library they won't use uh, go query uh, you know mostly they will use Kali. so this is the most commonly used so i want to create a video and show you how uh, you can scrape using Kali. but this also means that the code that we'll be writing will be much less because uh, Kali does a lot of heavy lifting for you and it takes care of a lot of things uh, by default so <clears throat> like i said you know we'll create an imdb scraper and we'll be using uh, a feature of IMDb called the advanced search. So where we can put a lot of different criteria to search. And what we want to do is we want to get a list of all the stars uh, who have their birthday on a particular day. So for example, the 1st of Jan or something like that, right? So all the stars who have their birthday on 1st of uh, first of Jan, we want, to, uh, we want to see their list and we want to extract some data. So what we'll do is we'll visit their profile of these stars and we'll uh, get these four different data fields. One is their name, bio, birth date, and top movies. We'll get some more data fields also. We'll look at that uh, below. So this is what we're doing at a 10,000 feet view. And the process that we'll uh, follow for that is that we'll uh, use the Kali library. We'll create two different clones. You can create clones in uh, Kali where these are, think of them as multiple processes. Uh, and in the clone one, uh, <coughs> we'll just, uh, what we'll do is we'll just go through the, uh, through the list of the stars. That's what we'll do. For the clone two, what we'll do is uh, we'll call it info collector and it will be responsible for collecting the info for each of the stars that uh, the first clone has <coughs> already scraped through. Okay, so we'll have two clones. And uh, so in our code, we'll have two different structs. One will be the star struct where we'll have these different data fields like name, photo, job title, these things that we'll uh, extract. And in the movie struct, so uh, each star will have some top movies. So for top storing top movies, which will be a slice uh, of, of type struct movie. So the movie struct will have a title and a year. Title basically is, uh, you know, the name of the movie and year is when it was released. So this, uh, as you can see, is, is a very beginner friendly, very simple uh, scraper because IMDb does not require any logging in uh, or any username, password and any different types of authentication. So that just means that it's quite easy, right? It's just go and scrape. Uh, and we're using the advanced search functionality. So it's not very complicated. So if you have basic Golang, this is the right video to, uh, you know, take your knowledge forward and we, we're going to have only two functions this is going to be a very simple straightforward project i think we'll have only probably one file main.go and we'll have only two functions uh, from what i think right now will be required or only func main will be required and func crawl will be required and from func main we'll call uh, the func crawl the func crawl will be uh, responsible for creating quality clones and <coughs> creating the structs and getting all the data and all of those things so that's the 10,000 feet view of what we're going to build. And if you want to stay in, uh, stay updated about the, n the next videos that are coming out in this series, then you'll have to stay subscribed. So uh, please subscribe and uh, do watch the other series also on this channel. I have a lot of stuff uh, around Golang and like, you know, building cruds and building different type of scrapers. And uh, soon I'll be covering how to build databases and your own blockchain, those kind of things as well. So it's a good idea to subscribe to this channel. And so thanks a lot for watching.